Good Sunday morning everyone. This is Rena, and today I got a kind of a quick little project to share with you that I created for another design team project for the Besties Challenge. Um, this is one of Sherry Baldy's um, older images that she did many years ago um, and she's the one that does the big eyed girls but um, these were recently discovered by one of her design team members kind of buried in her vault and they've recently come out and I just adore them because they're much more similar to Magnolia Tilda than um, than her big eyed girls so I was really drawn to this particular image um, so what I've done is I've created an altered frame and um, it's just your basic cheap frame that you get at I think I got this at Joann's or Michael's for maybe two dollars um, and what I've done is I've used the Prima paper pack the lyric collection and it had this real pretty pinkish wood grain um, paper in it and so <clears throat> what I did was I took my Tim Holtz distressor and I just distressed it like crazy and even some of it kind of tore in like this um, so what I did was I put some little lace behind there there's some right here um, let's see and then back here as well quite a bit actually um, so I took some I didn't have any gesso so I just took some white paint and I kind of roughed up the edges there um, I did the same with my my Prima flowers um, I just took that white paint and kind of dabbed it all over um, for that more shabby look. Um, I didn't really have a big plan for this project except for this banner, which I cut a fussy cut out of the one of the paper um, sheets, the 12 by 12s. And um, I, I fussy cut that. I kind of just dressed it up a little bit, kind of ran a little bit of uh, watered down paint over it to kind of age it a little bit. And I stuck it down and then as I went I decided to add the lace behind it and the lace in front of it and so I had to pull it off and glue that on and then put it back down and then I decided to put the flowers across it so I did that and then I decided to put this tool trim behind it so um, I had to pull the flowers up and stick that on and put the flowers back down <laughs> And then this morning, oh, and then I have these little curly cues that I added um, to it as well. Um, and I painted those also. And then this morning I decided I still needed something else, so I took this clear pearl trim that I have a huge roll of, and I decided to just kind of add that in as well. Um, my flower spray, I have this Cherry Lynn Designs um, vine flourish and I um, I die cut two of those out and then I cut them up and, and put them throughout um, the arrangement. I've got a Martha Stewart layered butterfly here. The first layer is vellum and the second layer is from the paper pack. Um, there's another one up here and oh this big one um, also Martha Stewart over here. So, um, then I have this lace down here from the Lace Mama off of eBay. Great stuff there. And this trim is just from my local craft store with this kind of wavy pearl stuff in between. So, there you go. That is my altered, my first altered shabby chic frame. And um, I hope you like it. And I hope you'll check out the besties. Um, um, they're digi digital images as well as she has quite a few rubber stamps out now. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please leave me a comment. I'd love to know your thoughts. And um, I wish you all a happy Sunday and happy scrapping. Thanks for stopping by.